Hi, I'm Dean Sobel. I'm the director of the Clifford Still Museum, and we're in the museum's south painting storage room to talk about the 1968 exhibit. I'm here in front of a painting by Clifford Still that was made in 1968, which corresponds with the later work of Clifford Still. The 1960s couldn't have happened, of course, without the lessons and the activities that occurred in the 1950s, and the way in which abstract expressionist artists like Clifford Still and Jackson Pollock and Mark Rothko broke down all the rules with painting. I think the revolutionary spirit continued into the 1960s in a number of ways you'll see at the exhibition, including in popular music, in feminist rights and other social activities in that turbulent time. I think it's interesting to consider that the painting behind me was made at the same time as the work of Andy Warhol and all the pop artists, suggesting that many artists in the 60s looked to the external world for inspiration, but in fact many others looked more internally for information to guide their artistic practice. Still said very little about the political events of the 1960s, but it's hard to imagine that they didn't shape his way in either direct or indirect ways. The painting behind me is just one of 825 paintings in the museum's collection and has never been seen before publicly. The collection rotates frequently with only about 5% of the collection being on view at any time, so you're always certain of seeing something new on every visit. I think it's instructive to consider the art of Clifford Still in the context of the 1968 exhibit. I hope you'll see both exhibitions when you're here in the Golden Triangle and make your own conclusions about how Clifford Still fits in with the time period. Thank you.